Hey Patrick, good session of the day. Hope you found it helpful. And good to see you guys progressing along with your golf as well as you are. Just going to run through a couple of points that we discussed in the lesson of the night. First thing, it's set up. You don't want to have your arms leaning too far, stretching too far out away from the body. It's going to put a lot of tension now in the shoulders, round off your shoulders there. You can see sort of into your neck and make it very, very difficult now for your body and your arms to work effectively. So what we'll get as the club goes back, the club then gets dragged way on the inside, gets a bit behind you. And now because of this takeaway, the club then rises straight up in the air and we create a sort of over-the-top action. And you can see as the hands and arms are starting to come back into the golf ball, those arms have moved a long way out in front of you, meaning the club now is going to be coming across the golf ball, creating that sort of slice spin off to the left. It's also going to mean you're going to lose a bit of distance when you're swinging the club. Now if we look at the right-hand one, and apologies a little bit dark, but hopefully you can sort of make the silhouette out. Arms hanging down a lot more from the shoulders. And the sensation you want to try and create now is that when you're swinging the golf club back down, the club's coming back in more towards your sort of left pocket. So as the arms go back up the top, good position there with that right arm. It's a smidgen high, if truth be told, but certainly a better position. At least we can see the whole side of your left face. Now as you bring the golf club back down, we don't want to bring the club back much further out in front as you've got here. You can see as the arms are tracking into the golf ball, they're not coming quite so far out in front. At least they're now probably underneath your chin, whereas before... You were sort of sticking a lot further out there coming across the golf ball so we can get a more efficient strike down the line the club will also finish now over that right shoulder you can see with a better release of the club a lot softer hand action and arms through the impact area means that club's swing a lot more fluid rather than so rigid as you were before so get those arms to hang down from the shoulders nice and relaxed there with the grip pressure and then we can feel the arms and the club working a bit more in unison with the body turn rather than doing two separate things so Hope that all makes sense. Any questions, obviously give me a shout and I'll see you soon.